Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be updating my previous short tutorial on how you could fix Valorant has encountered connection error. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, this video would fix particularly the issue wherein when you open up Valorant, you'll be shown up with this kind of error connection error and it states that Valorant has encountered a connection error. So to fix this one, there are a number of uh, fixes that we are, I'm going to show you in this video and hopefully any one of those would be able to help you fix your problem. So first we're going to go to our start menu and look for services.msc and you'll be able to see the services app and right click on it and make sure to run it as administrator. Scroll down until you see the VGC um, service. It's the Vanguard um, anti-cheat system or uh, service by Riot. So what you have to do is to right click on it and click on properties. And be sure to set the startup type to automatic. And hit the apply button and click on the start button. It will automatically start the um, Vanguard anti-cheat system by Riot. And if in any case that you are not able to find BGC service right here, just stay along on this video tutorial and I'll show you on the latter part on how you could fix that one so once you are able to start up that particular service you could go ahead and try running your valorant game but if still that doesn't fix the issue we could go ahead and jump to command prompt by going to the start menu right click on it and click on command prompt and run it as administrator and we're going to verify our drivers installed on our computer so we're going to type in sig verif and it will open up this file signature verification um, app what you simply have to do is click on the start button and it will scan all your device drivers on your computer and it will prompt you if it finds any drivers that are not signed so you might have to remove those drivers and i can't particularly show you how you could do that since um this uh, particular step depends on your current setup on your computer so just simply wait for it to finish and it will show you if in case you have a driver that is not digitally signed however if all of your files has been scanned and it says here that it is verified then basically you're good to go and you could follow along on this tutorial but again if you are able to find drivers that are not digitally signed just please remove them see if that will fix your problem next we're going to open a command prompt right click on the start menu click on command prompt we're going to type in here um, bcd edit.exe space for slash set test signing off and hit the enter button and I also type in bcd edit.exe set no integrity checks to off. If you encounter this particular issue, the value is protected by a secure boot policy and cannot be modified or deleted, you will have to disable first the secure boot option on your BIOS. Look for the secure boot and disable that one in order for you to be able to run this particular once done, you can now restart your computer and see if that would fix your um, Valorant game. So we're going to close this one and restart your computer. If you're running Windows 7, you can go ahead and proceed with this next step. Go ahead and open up this link and install this uh, particular hotfix or security update on your computer. Download this Windows 7 for um, KB3033929 and install it on your computer if you're again running Windows 7. But since I'm running Windows 10, I won't uh, proceed with that particular step. Next is if still everything fails, go to the start menu, click on settings. Click on the update and security and make sure that everything is updated. So click on the check for updates and make sure that you are up to date since everything must be updated such as device, drivers, and all other software and security patches on your operating system and uh, the next step we, that we could try is go back to your command prompt or simply open up another command prompt and type in um, sc delete vgc and type in again sc delete vglc if you encounter this particular the specified service does not exist it's particularly okay just ignore that one and go to the uh, file explorer and go to your c drive look for the program files 
and look for the folder right vanguard we're going to delete that one the action can be completed because the file or um, make sure to close every apps that are related to right vanguard so go to the tray icon and make sure that the right vanguard itself is not running so we're going to click on the exit vanguard right here and we'll turn off just click hit the yes button and you can now go ahead and delete right vanguard folder once done, go ahead and open up Valorant. We'll reinstall Right Vanguard on your computer. You must be able to find this installing Right Vanguard prompt and it will install all the dependencies required for the anti-cheat system. You simply have to wait for it to finish. Once the installation of anti-cheat system has been completed, go ahead and go open up again the start menu. Look for services.msc and make sure again to run it as administrator and scroll down until you see the VGC service. Right click on it and click on properties. Make sure to set that one to automatic. Hit the apply button and start the service. If you experience this particular issue that the Windows could not start the VGC service on local computer, what you have to simply just do is first reboot your computer since we just reinstalled the app and it's supposed to uh, automatically start if you set the startup type to automatic so you don't have to manually start it and click the ok button and hopefully that would fix the issue on your computer so that's basically it thanks for watching if this video helped you don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and to like this video if you find this one helpful so don't forget also to click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated to the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.